Okay, this video is a demonstration of solving rational inequalities. Okay, now remember, uh, what is a rational inequality? A rational inequality is, first of all, an inequality of some kind, so you don't have just an equal sign. You have a greater than or less than sign. And you also have some kind of a rational expression. Remember, the root word in rational is ratio. So some kind of a fraction, if you want, type of expression, usually with polynomials of some kind in the numerator and the denominator. So how do we start solving this? Well, just like any uh, fraction that has, a, uh, that has a variable in the denominator, you want to find the restrictions here. You want to find out what we cannot have for an answer because that would make this denominator equal to 0. So just by eyeballing this, you can see that x cannot equal 3. Because if x equals 3, then I'm going to be dividing by a 0. So we call this one of our restrictions. Okay? x cannot equal 3, no matter what other, an other answer I do find. Now, let's continue on. I also need to basically solve for the x and see what x is equal to. So let me just rewrite the problem and start solving. Remember, I usually multiply by 1 to get rid of any denominator. And I'm going to multiply by the same number as the denominator because that makes those go away. And that gives me x minus 1 is less than or equal to 0 because 0 times this is still equal to 0. Solving this further, it gives me x is less than a positive 1. The positive 1 becomes my other zero point, okay? Now what does that mean? Well, the restriction and the zero point both go on my x-axis, all right? And according to this, I'll make that my zero, x cannot equal 3, so 1, 2, 3, and x is going to be less than 1, which is right there, 1 and 3. What I have now are, is my x-axis divided into three regions. I have everything from negative infinity all the way up to 1. I have everything between 1 and 3. And then I have everything from 3 all the way up to positive infinity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test points in each of these regions in my original problem and then see if those actually make my statement or my equation a uh, true statement. So let's ask ourselves, what number is, um, from is 1 and all the way down to positive infinity? I'm going to choose a test point 0 because 0 is somewhere in that interval. Okay. So going back to my problem, 0 minus 1 over 0 minus 3 is less than 0. Let's see if that's true. I get 0 minus 1 is a negative 1 over a negative 3. I can see that's going to become a positive third. Is a positive third less than 0? And the answer is no, it's not. Okay? So I will not be shading any number from this interval all the way down. So nothing in there will work. Okay? Let's try the next test point. Let's test a number between 1 and 3, because those are my boundaries again, or my 0 points. Let's try 2. Plug it into the equation. 2 minus 1 over 2 minus 3 is less than 0. Let's see if that's true. I'm going to get 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 minus 3 is negative 1, and that turns out to be negative 1 is less than 0. Is that true? Yes, it is. Negative 1 is less than 0 when I go back up to my original problem. Okay. That means that I am going to shade everything in this interval, everything between 1 and 3. All right, let's test now the very, very last region, and that's everything from 3 all the way up to positive infinity. So let's test, I don't know, let's test 4. Good number. You can choose whatever number you wanted to test with there, but 4 will work. So now I have 4 minus 1 over 4 minus 3 is less than 0. Let's see if that happens. 4 minus 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. Is 3 less than 0? And the answer is no, it's not. So my answer is everything in here is not going to be shaded. 
My final answer, therefore, is everything inside here. So I'm going to basically use that interval as my answer. Everything from 1 to 3. Now remember that my restriction was that x cannot equal 3. So I'm going to have to put a parentheses around there because I don't want to include 3. If I wanted to include 3, I would put a bracket there. And everything has to be less than 1. So again, there's no equal sign. So I'm going to do that as well. And actually, that is my final answer. Everything between 1 and 3. Okay, I hope that helped. Good luck with the rest of them. I'll try putting some more examples on.